Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over rank math, what's it for, what's it, um, how do you use it, how to install it, um, and things like that. Uh, rank math is an SEO plugin and it's used to help you optimize the content on your website, whether that's on the pages or on the blogs. Um, it'll help you understand how best to uh, optimize blogs, things like adding in keywords, how often you should add the keywords, um, where you're missing um, thing, opportunities to increase the SEO on your blog. Um, and it's very straightforward and very sort of user friendly to use. So to get started, what you can do is go into the WordPress directory and download the word the plugin directly from there. Or if you come into the WordPress dash dashboard, click on plugins and look for the Rank Math plugin. Um, you can uh, look for this Rank Math here by Rank Math, and then just click Install Now and activate it directly from there. So it's up to you how you want to do that. And then once it's installed, you just want to click activate. Once it's been activated, you'll be re redirected back to the plugins page and you'll see it uh, activated here. You'll also see a new rank math tab just on the left of the WordPress menu, just down here. Now, when you go into different pages, um, so for example, if you go to pages dashboard, you should see a new column on the right and marked SEO details. Um, if you can't see it, just go into screen options and click on SEO details here. Um, you've also got options for SEO title and SEO description, um, but we'll just keep the SEO details here just to leave it, not leave it so cluttered. And it's the same thing if you go into posts, you'll see there's another, a new tab for SEO details. And again, if you can't see it, just go into screen options and click on SEO details. And what this means is it'll give you an overview of the SEO score for each of your blogs. So right now, um, each of them, each of the blogs, each of the pages are showing not available, uh, just because in, in none of them are they showing any kind of keywords. So none of the keywords have been set on any of them. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So for example, we have this blog, this blog here. We've got the blog content, we've got the blog title, uh, and it's all set up um, here, and everything else in the blog is done. To check for how optimized this blog is for search engines, what you want to do is click on this little uh, option here. This is the rank math, and it'll show you the, the score essentially. Um, so right now we're at 21 out of 100. So it'll show you all of the things basically that you're missing and what you're doing well, and it, it, can, it, can, it kind of reads like a, a checklist basically. To show you a little bit about this, so the first thing you'll see is this preview snippet. So what this snippet is, is just a preview of what Google will see and what users will see whenever this post shows up on um, Google results. Um, so they can see the link and they can see the title here and they can see the meta description. And down here below, you'll see uh, what the snippet is made up of. So the title, permalink and description. So the permalink is just the normal URL, which is fine. It'll just take from the title. And then the title of the tag, so this is a title of the um, page. So this is made up of the title of the blog, which is best things to do in London, uh, a separator, which is this little separator here, and then the site name, um, and that automatically just gets added here. So that all of that makes up the post title. And then you have the description. This, this is essentially the meta description. Um, and this is a small description that shows up in Google search results. So users will use it to see, okay, is this website, is this page, uh, something I'm looking for and then Google will also use it to see what this page is about um, so you want to pick a description write a description that accurately describes this page uh, specifically not the not the site as a whole and you can see with each of them there's like a little bar and this is there to show you to indicate sort of how much you're writing and if you're writing too much or too little um, so for example for this description here if you were to take maybe like the first few lines and then click edit snippet if we were to paste in a description here, you can see that I'm writing too much. So the bar is very red and you can see out of 249 characters, I or out of 160 characters, I've written 249. So what you want to do is sort of shorten that as much as you can. Um, the trick is to write obviously within the uh, required amount, but also that it uh, describes the page as well, it describes the post as well. Um, so you can see now that I've shortened it down a little bit, I'm within the um, limit as well. There's still more I could I could write, but just so you have an indication of what it looks like whenever you've written the correct amount. Um, so that's the 
snippet part. The next part then is the focus keyword. And so this is essentially words or the word that you want this specific post to rank for. So if we were to set the word, so for example, visit or travel, then that means that we would want to be ranking for the for that keyword. So if we want to rank for things to do in London, then we would have London as a keyword. Um, if you want to rank for travel, if you want to rank for whatever it is, you would set the focus keyword there. And then once the keyword is, fo is set, then Rank Math will do a better job at telling you exactly what's missing. So for example, if you were to type London as the keyword, you can see your scores, first of all, already has already gone up because the main issues were that we didn't have a keyword. Um, so for example, if we go back to this drop down here, you can see all of the issues being highlighted and all of the issues that have been highlighted and what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So when we had the when we had the keyword removed, you can see under basic SEO, um, we didn't have sort of the keyword in the SEO title. We didn't have the keyword in the meta description. We didn't have the keyword in the URL. We didn't have it in the beginning of our content. We didn't have it in the content. Um, and then the rest of it is content length. So setting a keyword will help you optimize the blog and then it will help rank math better to score your work and then you can see better exactly what what's still missing so for example we've added london as the keyword um, and the first point is that we're using the keyword in the seo title and this is back into the snippet so the seo title is just the title of the blog um, which we've named best things to do in london the next thing then is focus keyword used inside meta description so again back to the snippet the meta description is this part here um, and we've used the keyword here um, focus keyword appears in the first 10 percent of the content so that's another key point is that when you uh, uh, set your keyword you want to make sure it, it shows up in the first uh, not just in your content but in the beginning of your content as well so we've had it we've got it a few times um, in the content so that's a plus um, and then the next thing then is the focus keyword was find it within the content so not only is it in the first part but it's also within uh, other parts of the content as well so those those two kind of go hand in hand what we're missing is that the keyword is um, not in the URL so if we go back to the settings and go into post and look for the URL um, so yeah we would just need to change that um, you can also change it back into the snippet as well and so if we do things to and then just save that as our keyword. You can see already, um, once I've changed that, once I have the basic SEO done, I'm already within uh, above 80 and it scores green. So you wanna make sure that you have even the basic, at least the, the basic SEO done and then you're already in a, good, in a good position anyway. The other point to make about basic SEO is that the content is only uh, 1,038 well, words long. Um, which is a good number of words. What you want to do is try and get a bit more, so maybe 1,500, maybe up to 2,000. Um, but this will kind of keep you right to say um, how much more you could be writing. So we're at an orange now, but if we continue writing more, um, this will our basic SEO will be at about 100. Other points to mention is the additional um, tasks. So this was all basic SEO tasks, and these are additional ones that we could do um, to increase our score. So first thing is that the focus keyword uh, needs to be found in subheadings. So obviously we have got the heading one title tag um, and then we've also got sort of subheading tasks. So this is a H2, we've got some H3s in there as well. So one of the things that they mention is that keywords have to be within the subheadings. So we've got um, we've got it in H2, if we could also add it maybe in the title tag as well. Um, we have it in a H2 as well. Um, so having the keyword within different subheadings um, also helps your SEO score. Focus keyword find in image alt attributes. So that means, um, so essentially when you have all these images, uh, obviously you want to add an alternative text. And this can be either the text, either the images that are within your content, or if you were to go into settings and go into post, and if you were to set a featured image, if you had a featured image that had the keyword as the alt text that way, so if we had this as the alt text uh, keyword, that will also count as alt text containing the keyword. So that's another point to mention. 
keyword density. So this is essentially how many times the keyword um, appears on the page. So it kind of tracks that for you. So keyword density is 2.41 um, and it appears about 25 times, which is good. So you want to keep uh, making sure that you keep mentioning the keyword throughout your content. URL is 46 characters long, so the length of URL um, is also important. And it's good that to ex link to external so resources. So this is just linking to external pages, things like um, another website, maybe social media links. They all count as uh, external links. So you want to make sure you add some of those. And that one of your external links has a do follow tag within it. Um, and the other point that helps SEO is that you haven't used this keyword before. So it's good to use a different number of keywords um, across your site. So if you have a keyword set for this page, the next page or the next post, you want to use a different keyword. That way you're really kind of increasing your reach. And there's a lot of things that you could essentially rank for and increase the traffic on your site overall. Um, and the next thing then, well, what to focus on then is internal links. So internal links being links that will take users to other parts of the website as opposed to other websites in general. Um, so this could be linking to another blog, this could be linking to another page, this could be linking to the contact page, all of those kinds as internal links and you want to make sure you add those as well. Next thing you want to focus on then is title readability um, and this is fo focusing specifically on the title. Um, so some points to mention is that the title has a positive or negative sentiment. What that means is does your title have a word or a phrase that evokes sort of strong emotions from the user, that really encourages the user to kind of click on, um, click on the, on the blog or the page, and this one as well. So title contains power words. So things like so best things. Um, these are all words that essentially entice the user a bit more to click on your your content and rank math track that and. The more you have that basically, um, the better it is you rank for. The other things that are missing then is that the keyword doesn't appear at the beginning of the SEO title. So we have the keyword in the title, but it's better than to find to do it in a way where the keyword is at the beginning of the title. You want to catch the reader's attention in a, qu a really quick way. Um, so having it in the beginning of a having your keyword sort of in the beginning of the title um, sort of does that and search engines kind of rank a bit more favorably for for blogs that have the keyword in the beginning. Um, and the other point to mention is that the SEO title doesn't contain a number. Um, for example, it, it kind of makes the post more clickable. Um, if you think about it in this way, if we were to change it to 10 best things to do in London, um, it more, it's more enticing to the user. So if we were to change that, say, Uh, you can see that's also improved. Um, if we were to move the word London, there you go. So you can see that it all rank mass sort of automatically um, updates the score, um, but you've now got a fully optimized SEO title for your blog, and it's really easy to kind of check off one by one what the what's missing, what's left to do. Things like content uh, readability sh is how easy your content is for readers to you know, digest, read it. Um, and things like using images or videos to break up long bits of text is favorable and using short paragraphs. So anything too long, um, users tend to not read any of that. It's just too much. And there, and also we are having a table of contents plugin to help break down the text. Whether or not the table of contents plugin is in use, um, it does track whether you have one or not. Um, if you're ever unsure about things that are mentioned, so for example, if like within the title read readability, you're not sure why you need um, a title or a number or anything like that, each of the points have a little ex question mark where if you click on it, it'll take you to rank mass documentation exactly to where you, you're uh, wanting to know more. And it'll explain a bit more about what you need, how you can uh, improve your score based on the, the question mark that you clicked on. Um, so it's very easy to kind of understand where the optimization is coming from and why you need, need it. And that's on every single sort of um, point that they mention. Um, for example, if you were to go on the content, it can give you a breakdown on what uh, 
how, what amount of words give you the best score and why you need a certain amount of words basically. Rank Math um, in its basic form is free and you can uh, you can download as many copies and put it on as many websites as you need to. Um, but they do offer a pro version with different features and different payment plans. So for example, paid plans, what you do is what you get is the things like the tracked keywords. So you can track keywords um, across all your websites. So with the free version, you can only track, um, you don't, you can't track any of them. You're just kind of adding keywords to all your pages. But then with the pro, you can get up to 500 keywords that you can track and see how they're doing across um, websites and how well they're ranking. If they, if there's a better keyword that you can uh, use instead for a specific blog or post, um, you can get more advanced sort of schema generators and if you scroll down you can see that there's um, you can track sort of specifically uh, losing keywords winning keywords winning posts and so that way you can sort of see exactly where you're getting most of the traffic where you're losing traffic where there's opportunity to get more traffic um, so I think if you're a beginner I would start off with just the free version make sure all of your posts are optimized make sure all of your uh, pages are optimized um, see how well you do monitor your progress using um, sort of like Google Analytics and just see if there's if it's helping um, and then when you feel like you can do more and you're in the space to do more then uh, it might be good to advance to pro um, and then uh, really you make use of some of the extra features that they have because they can also be really helpful as well um, but uh, rank math in its basic form is free so you are uh, free to use the sun as many sites as you need to